Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Greetings to you in Jesus precious name. This morning we begin a new week. We begin a new pursuit of who God is. what he expects from us the whole story of our life the entire journey that we live in life it is supposed to be lived in such a way that we bring our entirety of our lives as a sacrifice to god and the more that we yield to god the more that we surrender to god the more uh you and i our personalities are laid to rest and the more god's personality begins to reign in us god's personality begins to rule in us and and we become more and more like him that is the ultimate goal of walking with god let's read genesis chapter 17 and verse 1 this is what god was telling abraham the bible says when abraham was 99 years old the lord appeared to him and said I am El Shaddai God Almighty this is what I expect from you serve me faithfully and live a blameless life God was saying you know what Abraham I love you I am going to provide for you I'm going to take care of you I want you to move from you know already in Genesis chapter 12 God had asked him to leave his father's land and go to another place and in Genesis chapter 17 he comes and gives him a mandate he tells him this is what i expect back from you i expect you to serve me faithfully and i want you to live a blameless life i know that it is going to be uh, difficult for you to do that because you live in a world that is crooked that is wicked that is selfish that is so um, devoid of god that it is going to be very rare that you will have opportunities to live a blameless life very rare that people will appreciate you for your faithfulness towards me but yet i want you to do the uncommon thing of being faithful to me i want you to do the uncommon thing of being m- m- blameless before me how can we do that in our lives why is god expecting faithfulness from us in our relationship with him because faithfulness is a essential thing in every relationship you know if you ask a husband and a wife if you ask a boss and his employee if you ask an attorney and the client um if you ask a doctor and the patient every relationship uh, even let it be between uh, two unmarried people who are preparing for marriage or who are courting and dating and waiting to get married faithfulness is still an essential commodity every in every one of these single places and if it is so what about our relationship with god do we take faithfulness seriously do we take our relationship with god so serious that we see the need and the importance of being faithful to god you know so many times we have uh, this uh, you know contractual relationship with god where we tell him lord this is what i'm going to do for you and in return you got to do this for me it's not it's no longer about faithfulness it's just about um you, you know i'm going to give you this much it's It's almost like a business contract and you know when i find somebody else who can bless me more help me more i might just make the switch you know that's that's how we behave with god and and god is saying to abraham god is telling him you know what i i know that you may have better opportunities i know that you may have better uh, looking uh, people better looking jobs better looking uh, you know promotions and influences that you would find here on earth in fact adam and eve god god told them don't eat of this tree and the serpent came and tempted with a fruit and said doesn't this look good doesn't this look better than the command that god gave you to not eat of this now 
technically speaking it was not better than god it was not better than a relationship with god but that is how the world puts it the world will bring you the temptations to you in such a way that you will feel that what the world is offering you is better than what god is offering you and that is where you need to be faithful to god you know the way you conduct your life uh the way you live on the planet you know joseph when he was tempted to uh to sleep with potiphar's wife he didn't say i cannot be disloyal to my master he was not talking about hey my purity will get affected with this he was saying how can i do this to my god how can i be unfaithful to god in being being like this or in doing something like this you should understand every one of your decisions and everything that you do on a daily basis you are either expressing your faithfulness towards god or you're expressing your faithfulness towards a, a person or a, a circumstance or a, or an or a thing or a material and i hope that you and i will make the right choice of being faithful to god and only to god all the days of our life let me pray with you this morning let me speak genesis 17 verse 1 over your life let me speak the voice of god over your life let me believe that that this will become your life's goal that this will become your life's calling that this will become your life's ambition your life's desire that all the days of your life you want to be serving god faithfully that uh, faithfulness will become part of your lifestyle faithfulness will become part of your or a uh, very fabric that you will want to serve the lord faithfully daddy god we pray over your children right now i pray father that you will teach us the importance of faithfulness to you in our service in our language in our conversations in our relationships everything that we do lord we want to be faithful and and help us to serve you faithfully all the days of our life We hope you are encouraged by today's podcast. To know more about Pastor Preeti or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area, connect with us at pastorpreeti.com. We wish you a Christ-filled day ahead.